Hey, what's up again? It's Andrew here from Offshore Audio, helping you guys to mix better live sound, whether that's at gigs or conferences, wherever. This time we're going to take a look at something really, really useful, but quite easily overlooked and a lot of people don't know about it or don't know how to use it or the consequences of using it, and that is digital gain. We'll take a look at this further in the video. If you enjoy getting tips and tricks for mixing better live audio, then please subscribe to the channel. Love to have you. And uh, without further ado, let's dive in to the technique. Normally when you have a microphone, a Shure SM58, you connect the microphone to the back of the mixer or to the stage box. You gain it up to an appropriate level. We're going for 25, 26, something like that. And then two, 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 your microphone works. You then begin with your processing and so on and so forth. So what happens when you connect that microphone to the back of this mixer is, or to the stage box is that you're connecting it to a microphone preamp, right? And that takes the signal from this microphone. It raises the level of that signal from microphone level, a very low signal, which comes out of this microphone, to a level which the mixer can work with. Because the levels that come out of microphones are too low for mixers to work with effectively, okay? If you're using an analog mixer and you're using analog splits, you don't need to think about digital gain because you're always using a separate preamp. You've got a different line going in. But if you're using a digital mixer, you unlock all these possibilities like selecting your second channel and having it mirror the first channel. Great, now you've got the same channel on two inputs. Two, 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 two. Isn't that great? But the problem here is that the gains mirror each other. See, although the channels are not linked, the gain is changing on both channels at the same time because they are only using one microphone preamp, okay? This microphone is going into one microphone preamp. The great answer to that is digital gain. We've gained up our microphone. We don't need to adjust the voltage level to make it compatible with the circuitry inside the mixer anymore. We know our signal level is high enough that we can use it in the mixer. Two, two, two. See, sound is coming out the mixer. You see the meters move, everyone's happy. But there could be all sorts of reasons why we don't want the same gain level on that second channel. Thankfully, we have this digital gain. Digital gain is not something that we're using to bring this microphone up to an appropriate signal level to work with the mixer. Digital gain is something that we are using to compensate for discrepancies in the signal level for our purpose. What I mean by that is that for whatever reason, if we're using this microphone, for example, we're using the second channel, only for monitors, maybe the gain is just a bit too high. Maybe we're finding that it's just too sensitive when we're driving it into that monitor mix, you know? So we're doing here, we're mixing it into our monitor, but we just find it all too sensitive. We can just adjust it down. We can take 15 decibels off of it, really calm the sound down. Two, 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 versus two, 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 two. We can make that sound level more appropriate for the task that we are trying to achieve. Similarly, maybe it's just not quite high enough to push into our processors the way that we want it to. We can just touch up this gain here. If I turn on a compressor on this second channel, two, 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 the gain is really low, right? I open up my compressor, right? I've got my my settings dialed in and I just want to turn the threshold down until I see compression. But when do I see compression? Here? That's me right down. I'm as low as that threshold can go and I'm only hitting three decibels of compression. What if I want more? Why don't we go back to our digital gain? And we'll just pump it up. Let's give ourselves 10 extra decibels of gain. Now let's go back to our compressor. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now that's compression. Now we could take our threshold right up again and look, we're still not triggering it at its highest, but as we dial it in, 
we will start to see the effects of the compressor way earlier. So we have more range to move up and down with our compressor. And that just simply means that we have more control. And that goes for all of the effects that we might use. This is for all the effects here. You know, what if you're using a de -esser? What if you're using a gate? How about effects? All of these things might need a different gain level than your first channel, whether that is for your front of house mix or for your monitor mix, they might need different gain levels. And so on a digital mixer, your option, your solution for that, if you're sharing for the preamp on the back, is to use digital gain. So hopefully you found that one helpful. In principle, it's a really basic technique, but I think understanding the why is very important here that you have that one preamp, you know, when you plug your microphone into it and you gain up that microphone, it's done, you know? So if you duplicate a channel on digital mixer and then go adjusting the gain again, you're gonna affect that first channel. Really important to know that and just have control. Hopefully that was really, really helpful. Gain staging is really, really important. It's the fundamentals of a great show or a great event. If you need to know more about gain staging, then I've left a link to the first module of my workshop down below in the comments. You can get that for free right now. It's really great. It takes you through the basics of stage setup. And the workshop itself is just a fantastic collection of all the knowledge that I've managed to accumulate over the last eight, nine, ten years or however long I've been doing this so that you can avoid all the horrible mistakes that I've had to make. But I'd love to hear from you. Tell me if this is something that you use often in your workflow. Did you know about the digital gain feature? Do you avoid it for any reason? I'd love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. See you in the next one. Goodbye.